Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. In this session, we learn how to passing data between screens. In the previous session, we got acquainted with the array navigation or side menu. Now, suppose when we go from one screen to another screen, we want to transfer a few parameters. On a screen A, I turn this button to the previous state, which takes us to a screen B. In the following navigate function, I enter the desired parameters. I enter a string parameter and a numeric parameter. Now I want to use the parameters I set in screen A when I went to screen B. To get the parameters in screen B, use the road props. We read the two parameters we defined here using road.params. And below the button, I use the value of the parameters in the text. Now if we go to screen B, we will see the send parameters. In each screen, we can update the value of the parameters. To test this, I use the button on screen B. In the setParams function, we can update the value of the screen parameters. For example, I update the id value here. And if you pay attention to the text, its value will change by touching this button. I return the button to the previous state and refresh the app. Now if we go to a screen B via the error, the app gives an error that it doesn't find the parameters. And this is because we only define the parameters via the navigate function. Well, I take this part out of the code and copy the parameters. In the error.screen screen, I use the initial prompts props and put the parameters inside it. I change this part of the text to make sure it comes from the error. I refresh the app. And this time, if we go to a screen B through the error, we see that the parameters are set through the error. Well, now I return the button on a screen A to its previous state and delete the parameters from it. As you can see by pressing the button, the parameters are still read from the drawer. Now suppose we want to pass a parameter from a screen B to its previous screen, a screen A. We do the same thing we did in a screen A here. We send a parameter called message to a screen A. And in a screen A, using the route, we display the parameter. In this way, if the desired parameter is not yet defined, the app will not give an error. And as you can see by returning from screen B to A, the desired parameter is displayed. So there we go, we learned how to passing parameters to roads. So in the next video, we will talk about debugging. Now if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session.